Hi, welcome to Textile Update. The discussion of manufactured fibers really moves us from a agriculture-based discussion into one that has a lot more to do with the wonderful advancements of chemistry. However, because some of the manufactured fibers that we know and depend on and occasionally love today do come from polymers that occur in the natural world, there is still somewhat of an agricultural connection. And so the purpose of this lecture material is really just to help us uh, understand um, uh, how it is that fibers are, are actually made if we're going to make them and uh, the difference between a fiber that's made from uh, a natural polymer for example, cellulose is a naturally occur occurring polymer. Tons of the natural world is made out of cellulose. Uh, glucose molecules put together into the polymer and those polymers packaged. Um, now in the case of a naturally occurring fiber, nature packages the polymers into a fiber. But nature didn't have to pack package the polymer into a fiber. It could have packaged the polymer into, oh, I don't know, a tree, right? We can, in fact, use uh, chemicals to degrade uh, and physical beings by banging or microbes, um, with sort of a redding action, to uh, degrade it down to its uh, down to the polymers, down to the cellulose. And actually during the paper making process, this happens naturally. We end up with sort of a soup of cellulose polymers when we're all done, that stuff that was too small and sort of fell through the strainer when we were making the paper. So we can actually use that, a naturally occurring polymer, to manufacture a fiber. It becomes a, a manufactured fiber. It's not man-made. I mean, it's not natural at this point. People may say it's natural, but just because someone says it doesn't make it make it true. Got to think it through and decide if it really is true. And then of course there are, and those are called regenerated fibers because we used a, a naturally occurring polymer but it wasn't in the form of a fiber so we made it into a fiber. So regenerated, right? And then there are the synthetic uh, fibers that come from synthetic polymers. The synthetic polymer are things like PET or polyester, nylon, um, the polyolefins, uh, um, which is, um, you know, a whole, uh, there was a whole conference about olefins in Houston, like it's a, obviously Houston is the capital of olefins. Um, and so we, we actually invented those polymers. I say we, but you know, us chemists invented those polymers in the laboratory. They're not naturally occurring. There's no like, you know, polymer pit the, where the polymer dinosaurs goo is laid. Um, Although, if we keep throwing away plastic bottles, someday there will be a pit where polymers are underground, uh, like millions of years from now, people will be like, ooh, it's all a recycling thing. But uh, the, the synthetic polymer, the one that we synthesized in the laboratory, can be made into lots of things. The chair I'm sitting in, the frame of this camera, the, you know, my mouse, right? Uh, these are all synthetic polymers and we can choose to turn them into fibers as well. So when we talk about the manufacturing of fibers, we're talking about uh, how do we take our polymers and turn them into fibers. So that's the purpose of uh, thinking about manufacturing fibers. Nope, I still have a couple of